everyone. Today, Tang Dai Yun take on us to talk uh, with rare recent of Ram School in Illinois, U.S. And now we will talk with uh, Miss Susan. Yeah. Uh, hello, Miss Susan. How are you today? I am good. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me to be here. Yeah. Uh, welcome you to visit our companies and for students to know about your school. And firstly, you can talk the overviews about your school. Absolutely. I would love to. Thank you so much. Uh, we are Brown Preparatory School, as you said, in Illinois. Uh, USA. Yeah. We are a small boarding school uh, that works with students uh, that have some learning differences in the classroom um, and we teach a holistic program that supports academic, emotional, and social supports um, to help students reach their potential and become lifelong learners. Uh, we look at students um, kind of across the board and where their strengths are and try to connect them with um, careers and aspirations mm -hmm. in the future based on the strengths that they already have and help teach them how to circumvent issues that they have uh, in learning. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have learned that your school recruits the student from grade 6 to 12, right? And for, for studying in your school, how about the admission requirement? Absolutely. Um, our admissions process is a little different from a lot of other schools. Um, the first thing we look at is we ask students and their families to get um, in cognitive intelligence testing, so a neuropsychological test, um, which is administered typically at a clinical uh, facility. Um, this tells us a little bit more cognitively about how a student is able to learn. Um, and we also look at achievement tests so that we understand what academic skills the student currently has. Um, once we receive the testing, we take a look to make sure that we can help support the student in learning um, other ways in the classroom and socially and emotionally. Um, and then we would ask that the consultants and the families uh, help put together the application. Um, once we receive that, we then let them know, um, we would invite them to Skype with us so we get to learn a little bit more about the family and the student. Um, and then if we feel like they would be a good match, we then invite them to campus. Mm -hmm. um, so the families and students um, get a feeling of safety on campus and they're open to ask any questions. Yes. Um, and then we would offer them acceptance um, based on how the student and family feels. Uh, we initiate the I-20 forms um, yeah. and then we would stay in contact with them yeah. um, to make sure that everything works out well in the application process. Yeah, so it's not difficult to study at your school. And uh, you know, one thing that the international student very interesting is the scholarship. And how about the scholarship? Do your school offer? Absolutely. Um, so once a student um, has been accepted by the school and has um, indicated that they would like to attend school. Um, if it's an international student, we initiate the I-20 form, um, send it to the student and family. Um, the student and family then apply for the visa. Um, if once that is completed and they have that accepted, um, then we would work with them on the contract. Um, and part of working with them on the contract is to work out either a payment plan um, to give them avenues on scholarships mm -hmm. and that would be initiated um, by a worksheet that is sent directly to the parents and scholarships are given at the beginning of every school year based on financial need of the family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so uh, all students are invited to take um, part in all of our recreation clubs that we do after school every day. Every student um, would get to try a mini club to see which ones are of their interest. And if students are passionate about any specific interest that they've been pursuing uh, over the course of their life, uh, we do everything we can to get them involved, um, whether it's private lessons, um, whether it's a group activity. It can be anything from um, an aspect of the fine arts, um, art, um, drama, um, music lessons, um, whether it's sports, if it's something that is science related, um, we try to help them initiate that because we feel that um, that could be a strength and a career pursuit for a student. Um, the last question is uh, for 
international students who have no relative in the U.S. and when when they come to the U.S. alone, maybe the students feel worried, scared, and something like that. And any programs or policies about accommodation for international students? Um, absolutely. We find uh, we have found over the last 33 years uh, that we've had the school that every student. Um, will experience some homesickness um, and some culture shock being in a new environment um, and being without their family. Um, we have different support groups and we also uh, involve members of um, our community um, in kind of reaching out to the student. Because we're close to um, a university, we have many faculty from uh, many different cultures that help participate and support and continue um, ceremonies and cultural um, interests uh, that students have. Um, so we have volunteers and then we also keep in very close contact with the family. We encourage the students to have almost daily contact with their families. Um, and then we do transition groups, we do um, supportive social skills groups, everything from one-on-one -on -one to uh, small groups with your peers. So we would we're more than interested in making sure that all of our students feel safe and comfortable when they come to campus. Yes. Yeah, um, thank you. I think the students will know more information about your school. And thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you so much. You've been so kind. I appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, for more information, you can find on the website www.tong.yung.edu.vn.